Hey everybody, everybody, hey, this is Miss Marcy. And I just wanted to come on here real quick and talk about the historical day for American history. Well, actually, it was just an historical day in in the in the in the nation, period. And that was yesterday, Friday, June 26th. Why was this a historical day in history? Because the US Supreme Court ruled that gay marriage was legal in every state. All 50 states. That's right. Well, it I'm sorry, it was it was ruled legal all over the nation, nationwide. So what does this mean for gay couples? They can get married anywhere they want. Because remember at first they had to go to different states to get married because it was legal in some and legal and not legal in others. And it was only a few that it was actually legal in. So now they no longer have that issue. They can go get married anywhere, any state, anywhere in the country. So, hey, congratulations to the LGBT community. Now, of course, you got some people that's not really cool with it. Like anything else, you're going to have people that's pro and you're going to have people that's con. So the people who are not for this, they're like, you know, this is not cool. This is like definitely the end of times. What's going on? And it's, it's been a battle for a long time. It's, just, it's something that the LGBT community have been fighting for for a long time. And they finally got, you know, they finally got their right to be married. And like I said, some people are feeling like it's an abomination. Why is this legal? You know, this must definitely be the end of times. And I just feel like I know people are entitled to their opinion and, and, and that's fine. But I also feel like people are entitled to their happiness as well. And so if that means being with somebody of the same sex, if that makes you happy, then hey, I'm not going to judge you. Me personally, I, <clears throat> excuse me, me personally, I am a heterosexual. However, I don't have anything against uh, gays, transgenders, or anything like that, lesbian, no, none of that. But what I do have something against is the, uh, the download people, the people that want to sit up here and be with a woman or whoever and then be on the download sleeping with the same sex. That's not cool because that is deceitful. You know, if you out with your stuff and you own your truth and you are who you are, hey, can't nobody be mad at you. It is what it is. But when you're sitting up here, you um, you married to a woman and then you on the low, sleeping with men, nah, nah, boo. That's not cool. So, like I said, I just wanted to do a brief video about that because this is, this, this is like history. This is something, like I said, the LGBT, they've been fighting for this for a long time and it has finally happened for them. So this was a big win for them, you know, hashtag love wins. So congratulations to them again. And again, I am Miss Marcy. Thanks for watching. This morning, the Supreme Court recognized that the Constitution guarantees marriage equality. In doing so, they've reaffirmed that all Americans are entitled to the equal protection of the law. That all people should be treated equally, regardless of who they are or who they love. This decision will end the patchwork system we currently have. It will end the uncertainty hundreds of thousands of same-sex couples face from not knowing whether their marriage, legitimate in the eyes of one state, will remain if they decide to move or even visit another. This ruling will strengthen all of our communities by offering to all loving same-sex couples the dignity of marriage across this great land.